So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 103 and in this video we continue with our character switch. I hope you watched the video which I mentioned in the last video. If so, then you should have something like that. When I press P, we can switch from first person to third person or to any other character which you have. So this is very nice, but we want a better solution, which means we want not use the level blueprint. We want to use this to on the side strange buttons. But before we can do this, we have a problem. And the problem is when I press this P, this is working nice. And so I can go on. This is all fine. And I press P again. Um, it is switching nice forth and back. The problem is when we watch this user interface, this is not right. And why is this not right? Let me switch again. The first person character, for example, has now the same user interface like my third person character, which is this attack. But this attack is here not working and the skills makes no sense. So with other words, we have also to implement a new widget, right? For example, for this character, he needs special control, uh, um, special, I don't know, any other user interface elements instead of this attack here and this uh, skills here, perhaps something, uh, I don't know, uh, anything else what you can imagine to make a, I don't know, perhaps, perhaps a radar or something like that to show a map or anything you like, be creative. but. The one thing I know is we don't need this uh, um, controls for the third person character. When I switch back now to the third person character, yes, he need this controls. That is his controls and he used that. So, and that means we have to create widgets and there are different ways to create different widgets uh, because for example, here we have created already one, which is not really good, but it is one and now we create one for the third uh, for the first person character as well i use a very simple trick which is just duplicate this one uh, throw out all the controls which i don't need and yeah and then i spawn the widget which i need for the character this is one solution not uh, there are other solutions for example instead of uh, let's say duplicating this one you can even uh, add a widget to an already existing uh, widget here as a child widget, which means then it pops up here elements and later you can just remove this widget, then it goes off. But this one for another video, we make the simple solution, which is just duplicate it and mm, throw out what you don't need or add what you need and use it when you need. All right, let's get started. <laughs> that sounds more complicated than it is. So what I do is first, I jump to my user interface because I need to find now my character hood. So I find it. This is the character hood which we saw right now at my thing. And I say, okay, you know what? First of all, I go rid of the other things. I duplicate you. So which means I go again in, I select it, right click it, duplicate it and rename it. This one is now my, the next widget is my first person widget. Okay, first person character. And we have already widget blueprint here. Then I open this one up, the new one, the old one I keep. You, of course, you should change here anything else if you like, but this one I keep. And I just change this one because the first person don't need this buttons here. So I delete this one, don't need this one here. I delete this one, don't need this one here. I delete this one, don't need this attack button here. And all other things I keep because this is just a demonstration. Of course, you should go on, make this widget like you think it sh looks cool. And when I press compile, you see I have here some errors. The errors are um, here because I used uh, before buttons with skills in the coding section. So I have to change the graph and you can see I deleted these buttons and all this coding section here is, let's say, nothing worked. 
so which means I just delayed this one too. All where the arrows are is gone. And this I don't need this too. And I keep all the other things right now. I don't watch and you see if I compile now, no arrows, perfect. I can use it. So now we created two widgets, one for the first person, one for the third person. And now I have to assign this widget so that when I press P and the right is chosen. So we have to do this. So first of all, uh, how I can assign this? Very easy, actually, I think, I hope. <laughs> and we are doing just... Uh, we find a place where we press this P. So I make this old solution, not the new solution. The new solution will be uh, in later videos when I press here something. But I make this old solution, which you know with this P uh, when you watch this short video. So which means I go here to the level blueprint. I open up the level blueprint. And here is the solution, which you probably know uh, if you watch the video of this at a YouTube guy. And then what I want to do here is just very simple. If I press this one here, I know which uh, uh, which character is spawning, right? So what I'm doing is first I remove all widgets. Uh, just for this demonstration, remove uh, all widgets. There is this keyword. This one will remove all and then I spawn the widget which I want. That is a very simple solution, very fast solution, and I think very easy, understandable solution. So, and now I spawn again a widget. But I think it's not the best solution because it can happen that we need the widget for anything but a spawn widget. Let's see. A crate, it's called crate widget, not spawn widget, crate widget. And then we go here to crate widget. This we know this one. This is the standard way what we do. And then we select the widget which we want to create. I watch the name. This is the infinity for it. This is my third person character. So I will select here the widget for the third person character, widget third person character. And I add this to the viewport. Very easy. And done. The same I go for the other one, which means now I just copy this one down. Because this one is the same. The only thing which I have to change is this to first person character here. That's why I copy just this one down and change here this one widget first person character. So now I compile, save, and now I can start. And now you'll see what happens. I press P, P. Now I have no widget, but we have here a problem on the top. And we have some other problems here in a moment and I press the P. So you can see the problems is the life bar is not set. The gold uh, binding is not set and the kill streak binding is not set. So what I uh, what I have here is I spawn a new one and that can cause problems, like I said, because this widget is a new character. Has he, uh, the question is, do you want really that he has a new life bar or you want connect it to the other new life bar? Anyway, there are different kind of solution. What you have to do is just go, one solution is definitely, this is the widget blueprint, which we created. We select this one and we have to rebind all the settings like before. So for example, you can do something like that. You open just the other one up. And then you watch how this was bind. And then we know uh, what we made. I go here on top and I show uh, select this selection menu here on the right tile and say show only modified properties. So now I know exactly what I have changed here. And then I can, let's go to my one. And here I can show if this is one also change. So it says, let's uh, think about it. Here is this progress percentage. So I have pro percentage get life percentage. So normally this should work, but it's not working. We have to check this a little bit, which means uh, is valid current life get percentage and so on. Then this one looks very good, I think. Then we go here back and see why this one is not 
it's working. We can also, oops, oh no, not with Visual Studio right now. Why you are opening? I don't know. So let's go on. Um, then I go here. Let's see. I have just to check what I have here. Fill capacity. Okay. Let's see if what I have done here. It gives me not much info <laughs> actually, <laughs> which means I have to manually go through all. I thought I have here fast access to it, but it looks like that's not the case. That's too bad. That's too bad. I'm not sure why this one is not working actually. But anyway, let's go and make this manual. Manual means just go all the, through the properties again so for example what we have here let's just the third one this one works this one works not we go in we check this value so it has a binding right get life percent this one should be one when it gets one and one should be uh full i think that's all fine is there here mm, let's see I think that should be fine. The question is now why it's not working, right? So when I press P, why this one is to zero? Um, here is a binding. And we have to check this binding one more time. Uh, get life is valid. In, ah, okay. Now it makes sense why it's not working. So when you see this binding here, this one is the spp infinity foria and we have not access right now to this uh and okay i think i skipped this setting i think you know how to bind this we have talked about this what i have to do now is uh, create a reference to the first person character so let me show you this one again because this one is now the first person character and then uh check his life and then uh, create a current life on the first person character and then make a return value. Or you want, uh, or you indeed want just one base character, then of course you can use this one, but you need here create again a reference which is working because this reference is not working. We can see this here uh, when we print string out. But we did this already. I think you are. You know how this works and you can see now here on the left side it will print a fail you see hello hello this is a fail 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 it's trying to do this one um it's trying to get this current life and it was also in on a tick event this is also very bad you should not make this another tick event all right i hope you understand the uh, at least the uh, mistake why it's not showing but i'm not going to implement this one the reason for that is we already know how to do this because we did this already right to so set up a widget it is similar to this widget here and you have just create now this connection uh, the reference for this character then the reference for this gold here and so on so i think you get the idea how to set up this um, widget so later that you have a widget for the first person character later and you set up it probably and then you can press here p and then you have the other one and there are other solutions as well perhaps better than this one depends perhaps i show you this one as well but before i stop this video i want to show you one more thing i or oh, let's skip it it was already too long uh, I show you this one in the next video. There was one nice thing. Yeah, I stop it here. So, if you have any questions or any complaints, like all time, write it in the comments. And uh, with that said, bye and good luck. See you next.